Hello, uh, my name is Bailey. I'm part of the Talos Tech team. And today I'm gonna to be showing you just how to put on an arm in case yours ever fails or you need to put on an arm for any reason. Um, today we're gonna to be replacing the M2 arm. So I will actually show you the arm. If you ever got, this, is, this one has it in all, like we have all four arms. But one way you can tell if this is the right arm is it'll say M2 on the side. And that way, once you see M2, you can actually kind of sync it up. It'll say M2 on here, and each one says it on each arm. One way to tell if it's right, you want this buckle to be kind of facing out. So even before we can put it on, you can kind of tell everything will line up correctly. Like, because this will clasp into there and everything like that. So today, what I usually do, it is a little heavy, Depends on if you have the blades on there or not. With the blades, it's a lot heavier, but I usually put it over my shoulder. And then these cords are a little, you can tell they're bent and very hard to get in there. But I usually do the bigger one first, feed it in there. And then I get the other one. And you can see it is a little bit of a struggle, but I usually try to feed it through. And then once they're both through, I kind of feed it through with my arm and then get this rubber piece. You do want to make sure that this rubber piece, like the oval, is like the longer side. It kind of looks like that, where it'll be an oval up. And then you kind of push that through. Like I said, this is a little awkward. And then you kind of force it in there. And then what I usually do is I clip it in there first. And then you can see it'll look a little unaligned for you. And I usually just kind of push it in, kind of go over top. And you can, if you want to like go in there, you can. But you can kind of see how it'll, like how it's unaligned right now. You'll see like the sides. And I usually just try to perfectly as best I could. So one way I always check, once you put it in there, it is going to look a little unaligned. Um, but I always, if you want to go in there, you can see you can kind of see like that black circle down there. You want to align it till it's kind of just right. And then when you think it's okay, I take the bigger bolt. Um, this one will actually go, it's a little confusing because once we get to this part, you will do it from the top up once I get there. But this one, you want to make sure it goes in from the bottom first. So you'll probably have to finagle it a little bit. And then once, then it'll just slide through perfectly. And then you take this bolt, which this is a four millimeter for if like an Allen wrench or a hex wrench. And then I usually just hold it and then try to screw it in. And then just get that tightened. And then after that, I usually, it depends on what part you want to do next. But usually I try to get this rubber piece. You want it to seal. So you can kind of see it'll look like this first where it's kind of out. So you want to get that. This part always gives me struggle because it's extremely hard rubber. But I usually like finagle it around and then it'll pop into place just like that. And then after that, these will feed into there. So those, like I said before, it is, taped together so they are hard, but they'll go through there. And then these will connect. This one will connect on top of here. And you wanna do it till you like hear it click. I heard it click, you probably did not, but it did click. And then you wanna do this one into that until you hear it click. Then the next part, which would be, before we tighten all of this up, I usually try to get everything into place before I do all my tightening. But this will be the next piece for the arm locking mechanism. So this one is just like this screw where you do want to hold it and make sure it aligns perfectly. And I will say this one is a lot harder to align than this one. Um, so you do want to make sure it is aligned. And then like I said before, this one does go over the top, but usually I put it in there and it'll slide and I usually just apply pressure. And this one will go on the bottom. And then after all that, everything else should be good to go. You just tighten this with a four millimeter and 
So four millimeter up top here. And I usually, you want this to be pretty tight. It, it, you do want it torqued down to about 13 foot per pound. So I usually, if you have like a drill or anything like that, I usually do it to the tightest setting, put it on there and then get a five eighths wrench, put it on the bottom and then just tighten it. And it should just tighten its way. You can see it'll tighten it all the way up. And then the next one is a three. So you put the three, and this is for the locking mechanism for the arm. So you do a three and do the same thing, but this, this time it is a 10 millimeter. So let's see. Or not. There we go. And that one, um, this one I usually just make snug. You want it to be not too tight, but also not too loose. So I usually just really snug. And that is basically how you put on an arm. Alrighty guys, well, that was pretty much how you put on an arm in case you need to on a T50. My name is Bailey, I'm part of the Talos Tech team, thanks.